Hello everybody, this is Sir Winston here on the Sir Winston Podcast, and today is Season 2, Episode 10. Now today, I want to talk about my favorite Prince album. Now, everybody knows that I'm a Prince fan, and I love Prince. I mean, I got introduced to Prince on Purple Rain, you know, watching that movie and and listening to his music, and that was one of those albums that had R&B, soul, jazz, it was influenced with everything that you can imagine. And it was an eye-opener. But that album was a beautiful album. But the album that changed my life as an artist was Signs of the Time. Signs of the Time is a two-double-disc CD. I mean, this one is, like, impact with music. I mean, it's, like, flowing through everything. I mean, it's my favorite album, I mean, to this day. One thing that I love about that album is that it didn't have boundaries. It was all over the place. I mean... It spoke to him as an artist. That's what he does. I mean, he just kind of plays. Now, everybody says that he goes into the studio and he doesn't even practice. He kind of goes into the studio. He lays every song, a track. He'll lay the drums. He'll lay the bass. He'll lay the guitar. He'll lay everything. And he just kind of get everything going. It took him about two years to make this album. I mean, it was like two years of him just solid going in, doing songs. I mean, they say he made thousands of songs, and I think that's just crazy that he does that. He just do thousands of songs. Now, this album is like a mixture of three albums that he was working on. Dream Factory, Camille, and The Crystal Ball. Now, all these albums had like a psychedelic soul, R&B, jazz vibe to it. And he just picked out the ones that he really liked, and he combined it together. And I mean, he did that in the last minute because he was going to work on another album and then another album that he didn't like. And he just and then he just had all these three albums and he was like, you know what? I am all three of these albums. I mean, I like all these type of genres. I'm just going to put it all together. And I mean, I'm so happy that he did that because that just made me like, and I'm listening to his music. It made me feel like as an R&B artist, you can do different things. You can go down different streets, like he would say. You go down different musical streets. And that's the one thing that I love about Prince. I mean, he's, he's my favorite artist of all time. Now, one of the things is I like to give a little tips that how Prince can help you and how he has helped me be an artist. Number one is that he creates a lot of music. I mean, he creates about thousands and thousands of songs. I mean, that's what you got to do walking down the street or running or at your um, house. You just want to create something, create a little bit of something. Number two is he's experimental. He wasn't like, okay, I'm going to be inside a box. I'm just going to be this R&B artist. I mean, in his previous albums, he always comes out different and every everything is so different. And I love that. That's how I do my albums. I come out different and I don't like to be the same. And number three is, he never gave up on the ideas. I mean, I I say that a lot. He didn't give up on his ideas. He kept at those ideas like he always does. And, you know, people tell him, this won't work. It's a two-disc CD. It costs a lot of money. He said, don't worry about it. It's going to pan out. And he trusts his instincts. And that's one thing that I miss about Prince, and I miss him to this day. And he's my very favorite artist, and I discover new music from him every day. All right, everybody, this is Sir Winston Williams on the Sir Winston Podcast. Like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.